So Goldsmith comes out of that uh, uh, and started working for TV. And his he was really good because he was fast. He could pound out a new composition like Gangbusters. And that was back when they were doing like the live TV back in the 50s. Oh, right. So that, like Playhouse 90, I think he did a lot of that. Uh, uh, where they're, you know, it's it's all like it's, we're going to do a play live, uh, uh, no no editing, nothing. It's It'll happen. And if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Right. Uh, go. Right. Uh, and then eventually worked his way into movies and did, did has had a prolific career that in the 60s, 70s, 80s, uh, he did, uh, what are some notable early ones? Uh, Planet of the Apes. What? Goldsmith did Planet of the Apes? Yes. Wow. And was notable because it was so atonal and crazy and uh, very tribal sounding, you know, and, and moving away from a traditional Hollywood score to try to, uh, the other thing that, Gold, that I love like about Like Pillow Goldsmith Talk. Like, there we go. Is that a? I, I don't know that one. Is that Pillow it's, Talk? It's, it's a Pillow Rock Talk. Hudson, Doris Day. Anyway, uh, ah, it, the it. music was art. Yeah, I like uh, to quote uh, the your last podcast. Her, was his name Hurt Robert? R- Robert Hurt. Yeah, station. yeah, Robert. To quote to quote Robert Hurt, uh, uh, if there is a spaceship in the movie, I will see it. If okay. There's not a spaceship. Okay. I got nothing. <laughs> Like, if Knights and Rodanth had a spaceship, if it was on a spaceship, I would have seen it. Did you see uh, 2001? Multiple times. That's how much of a nerd I am. What's multiple, the song I, to that one? That's got a famous song, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Ba, 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 oh, right. bum, ba, and then also... Ba, da, 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 bum, oh! Bum, 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 Did he write ba, that, whoever wrote that? So all of that, what happened with 2001, all of that is classical music. That's so what I the, thought. <laughs> yeah. And, and Kubrick used the classical music as a temp track, basically, and then hired, uh, I think, Alex North to do the score. Alex okay. North turns in the score. Kubrick goes, I like the classical music. And done. Uh, yes. And I, and I think that might have been a situation where Alex North might have been sitting in the, in the opening and then the movie plays, and he's like, "Where's, where's my music?" What? Right. Oh my Which God. happens, and this happened. This happened to Goldsmith too. They will, they will do an entire score for a movie, and then throw out the score. What? And then yes. just use something else or anything else? They with Goldsmith. Uh, do you remember the movie Legend, the Tom Cruise? Uh... Unfortunately, I do. I saw that one in the theater. <laughs> yes. So probably the version you saw had. Uh, I think it was Tangerine Dream did the score. And it was like kind of this rock and roll kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, Jerry Goldsmith did the entire score for that movie. And then I think the studio decided it wasn't hip enough, so they threw it out. And I wow. think there was one guy, wow. like the sound designer, thought, this is a good score. I might just, just in case, I'm going to keep the tapes for this. And if he hadn't have, the score would have been lost. And so then, years later, they re-released the movie with his score.